let's go to Romans chapter 8 verse 28 and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God okay to them who are the called according to his purpose okay so if you love God what are you going to do are you going to choose to always disobey him no I don't think so I believe if you love God you are going to try to obey him right so if you are trying to obey God is this verse telling us that only good things work together for your good no is this saying only bad things work together for your good no if you are living for god i believe everything the bad and the good is working together for your good and i have to remember this i think some people have it in their mind when they begin living for Jesus Christ, I think some people believe everything should be perfect. Like, no problems, no issues. Like, I think some people think in that way. And I feel that is self-defeating. If... I don't know much about God and I am trying to live for him if somehow I believe everything should be easy perfect or whatever else what do you believe is going to happen if I find out there are challenges in trying to live for God I may give up I may become angry at God and become worse so whoever told you or however that thought came to your mind or whatever I believe living for God I don't believe it is super hard I don't believe it is super easy I believe living for God has its challenges Look now, if you are trying to serve God, don't focus so much on problems. According to the scripture, whatever is happening to you, and I believe I am correct about this, it is working together for your good. So even if you lose your house, even if you lose your car, even if you lose your job, even if you lose money, in a sense, I believe, or according to the scripture, I believe it is working together for your good. I think some people too may believe If you have problems, then you are probably doing what is wrong. Now, I don't believe that is always correct. Now, if you go back in the New Testament, I think um, Paul, the Apostle Paul. Now, was he always doing wrong? I don't think so. But look at what happened to him. Look at Job. I don't believe it said Job was a wicked man. No. Job went through so many problems, right? But 
wasn't he right with God? I believe so. I was a while back. I used to contact someone. And that person told me in so many words that when that person tries to live for Jesus Christ, it seems like more problems come to that person. And I think, listen now, listen, listen. I think that is usual. I think that is usual. Let's say I was in witchcraft for 20 years. Let's say I was really evil for so long. And let's say I choose to live for Jesus Christ now. Okay. If I have been doing wrong for so many years, do you think I am, do you think all my ways are right with God now? Are they? I don't think so. I may be wrong about this, but I don't think I am. When you give your life to Jesus Christ, maybe there are other occasions when this may happen as well, but I believe when you live for Jesus Christ, I believe a purging process must occur. And what do I mean by purging? Getting rid of those bad attributes and trying to get you to become more like Jesus Christ. So if I was in witchcraft, if I was always cussing people and cursing people, doing spells and doing all types of evil, that mess or whatever is still in me, that is mess, needs to be taken out. So probably some of your problems are coming from the purging process, which I call it. Kevin, uh, where is that in the Bible, the purging process? Now, that set of words may not be in the Bible, but I truly believe there is a purging process, like myself. Like, I am not saying I am 100% patient, but I can say I am probably more patient now than I have ever been in my entire life, probably. I believe I was placed in situations to where I had to exercise what? Patience. And it was not always easy. So ultimately, we have to die to ourselves. And how do we die to ourselves? Becoming less of ourselves and becoming like Jesus Christ. Now, in a sense, isn't that part of the purging process? You purging the sinful man and you are trying to develop, how can I say this the easy way? You are trying to become more like Jesus Christ as in his character, if that makes any sense to you. I believe in the Galatians chapter five, and I forget the scriptures, maybe 19 through 21. I believe it speaks about the fruit of the spirit. So let me stop here, though. God bless you.